Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Animal Kingdom. Question number 1. Body is covered with dry and cornified skin and epidermal scales in Option A. Mammals. Option B. Reptiles. Option C. Amphibians. Option D. Fishes. The correct answer is Option B. Reptiles. Bodies covered with dry and cornified skin and epidermal scales or scutes in reptiles. Mammals possess hair on their skin. Amphibians have smooth and moist skin devoid of scales. Fishes possess different kinds of scales covering their skin. Question number 2. Animals in which the body cavity is not lined by mesoderm, and instead, the mesoderm is present as scattered pouches in between the ectoderm and endoderm are Option A. Acoelamates. Option B. Pseudocoelamates. Option C. Coelamates. Option D. Hemocoelamates. The correct answer is Option B. Pseudocoelamates. Body cavity is the cavity present between body wall and gut wall. In some animals, the body cavity is not lined by mesoderm. Instead, the mesoderm is present as scattered pouches in between the ectoderm and endoderm. This type of a body cavity is called a pseudocoelom, and the animals possessing it are called pseudocoelomates. Species belonging to phylum Escalmenthes exhibit this type of body cavity. Question number 3. Which of the following are examples of the phylum Anthropoda? Option A. Silverfish, starfish, prawn. Option B. Apple snail, honeybee, euplectella. Option C. Sea star, scorpion, sea urchin. Option D. Cockroach, scorpion, prawn. The correct answer is Option D. Cockroach, scorpion, prawn. Cockroach, scorpion, and prawn belong to the phylum Anthropoda. Silverfish is a small wingless insect, phylum Anthropoda. Starfish is an echinoderm. Euplectella is a genus of glass sponges, phylum Porifera. Apple snail belongs to phylum Mollusca. Honeybees are insects belonging to phylum Anthropoda. Question number 4. Which of the following exhibits metamorism? Option A. Annelida. Option B. Eschelmenthes. Option C. Platyhelminthes. Option D. Both Annelida and Eschelmenthes. The correct answer is Option A. Annelida. Metamorism is the phenomenon of having a linear series of body segments fundamentally similar in structure. The individual segments are known as metamers. However, not all such structures are entirely alike in any single life form because some of them perform special functions. Annelids such as earthworms are a good example of metamorism. Most animals higher than annelids in the animal kingdom also exhibit metamorism at least during some part of their life history. Question number 5. The animals which are exclusively aquatic, sessile, with cellular level of organization of the body are placed in phylum underscore. Option A. Protozoa. Option B. Porifera. Option C. Ctenophora. Option D. Nidaria. The correct answer is Option B. Porifera. Phylum Porifera includes the sponges, which are exclusively aquatic, sessile, and exhibit cellular level of organization of body matter. It is also the only phylum that comes under subkingdom Parazoa in the animal kingdom. Question number 6. Metagenesis refers to Option A. Metamorphosis. Option B. Alternation of generations. Option C. Metamorism. Option D. None of these.
The correct answer is Option B. Alternation of generations. Metagenesis is basically the alternation of generations between sexual and asexual reproduction. In other words, a generation developed by sexual means is followed by one or more that reproduce asexually. Many Cnidarians exhibit this. Based on this, Cnidarians exhibit two basic body forms, the asexual polyp and sexual medusa. Many Cnidarians are restricted to one of these types throughout their life. For example, Hydra is found in the polyp form, while the jellyfish, Aurelia, is found in the medusa form. Others, such as Obelia, exhibit both the forms during their life cycle, and thus, such Cnidarians are the ones that exhibit metagenesis, as they keep alternating between the polyp and medusa stages. Question number 7. The connecting link between invertebrates and chordates is the I underscore that belongs to the phylum 2 underscore and has a larval form called 3 underscore which resembles the larval form of 4 underscore. Option A. I. Asterius. 2. Echinodermata. 3. Tornaria. 4. Hemichordata. Option B. I. Acorn worm. 2. Hemichordata. 3. Trochophore. 4. Echinodermata. Option C. I. Acorn worm. 2. Hemichordata. 3. Tornaria. 4. Echinodermata. Option D. I. Asterius. 2. Echinodermata. 3. Bipinaria. 4. Hemichordata. The correct answer is Option C. I. Acorn worm. 2. Hemichordata. 3. Tornaria. 4. Echinodermata. Acorn worm. Balanoglossus. Belonging to the phylum Hemichordata is said to be the connecting link between the non-chordates and chordates. This is because it possesses certain characters found in chordates, in addition to many of its invertebrate features. The larval form of hemichordates is called turnaria, which resembles the bipinaria larva of echinoderms. Question number 8. Bones with their cavities occur in Option A. Alligator Option B. Corvus Option C. Naja. Option D. Canis. The correct answer is Option B. Corvus. Pneumatic bones or bones with their cavities are typical of birds, class Aves. Corvus is popularly known as crow and belongs to this class. Alligator and Naja, cobra, are reptiles, while Canis, dog, is a mammal. Question number 9. Which group of animals from the options below belong to the phylum Anthropoda, based on their characteristic features like jointed appendages, exoskeleton and biotri segmented body? Option A. Sponges, corals and comb jellies. Option B. Hydra, sea anemone and jellyfish. Option C. Flatworm, roundworm and snail. Option D. Lobster. Crab and Spider The correct answer is Option D. Lobster, Crab and Spider Lobster, Crab and Spider belong to phylum Anthropoda, with characteristic features like jointed appendages, exoskeleton, and a two or three segmented body. This refers to fused segments or tagmata such as the head thorax and abdomen. Question number 10. The body is divided into segments in Option A. Fasciola. Option B. Ascaris. Option C. Ancylostoma. Option D. Nereus. The correct answer is Option D. Nereus. Nereus belongs to phylum Annelida. Segmentation of the body or metamerism first appears in phylum Annelida, and is absent in the lower groups. Fasciola belongs to phylum Platyhemins, while Ascaris and Ancylostoma belong to phylum Ascalminthes, both of which are lower phyla than Annelida in the animal kingdom. Question number 11. 
Water circulation in sponges does not help in Option A. Locomotion Option B. Respiration Option C. Food gathering Option D. Removal of waste The correct answer is Option A. Locomotion In sponges, all the physiological activities of the body depend on the current of water entering through ostia and passing out through osculum. Inside the body, this water current circulates through the spongus, which is the entire space inside the body wall. Food and oxygen are brought in through the water currents while excreta and reproductive material, such as the gametes, are also extruded through this current. The water current system however, does not help in locomotion. Sponges are sessile organisms, and thus, generally, do not move. Question number 12. Water vascular system is found in Option A. Sea anemone Option B. Sea pen Option C. Sea urchin Option D. Sea horse The correct answer is Option C. Sea urchin The water vascular system is a hydraulic system typically used by echinoderms such as sea stars and sea urchins, for locomotion, food and waste transportation, and respiration. Sea anemone and sea panarchnidarians, while sea horse is a fish. Question number 13. Which of the following is a unique feature of phylum Nidaria? Option A. Cnidocytes. Option B. Pinacocytes. Option C. Quanocytes. Option D. Gemules. The correct answer is Option A. Cnidocytes. The phylum name Nidaria is suggestive of the unique feature it exhibits, the specialized defensive venom cells in them, called cnidocytes. Pinacocytes and quinocytes are cells found in sponges. Gemules are internal buds found in sponges and are involved in asexual reproduction. It is an asexually reproduced mass of cells that is capable of developing into a new organism. That is an adult sponge. Question number 14. Which one of the following belongs to phylum platyhelminthes? Option A. Plasmodium. Option B. Fasciola. Option C. Wucheria. Option D. Trypanosoma. The correct answer is Option B. Fasciola. Plasmodium and Trypanosoma are protozoans, which belonging to the kingdom Protista. Hence, they do not belong to the animal kingdom. Wusheria is a parasitic roundworm, belonging to the phylum Escalminthes. Fasciola is a flatworm and hence, belongs to phylum Platyhelminthes. Question number 15. Telephores differ from Cnidarians in having Option A. Organs. Option B. Ciliated comb plates. Option C. Cnidocytes. Option D. Diploblastic nature. The correct answer is Option B. Ciliated comb plates. Both cnidarians and ctenophores exhibit tissue level of organization and are also diploblastic. Cnidocytes or stinging cells are found only in cnidarians. While ctenophores possess unique ciliated comb plates which help in locomotion. Question number 16. The animals belonging to Hemichordata are exclusively underscore. Option A. Terrestrial. Option B. Amphibian. Option C. Aerial. Option D. Marine. The correct answer is. Option D. Marine. Animals belonging to phylum Hemochordata are exclusively marine worm-like animals. Question number 17. Members of the class Reptilia are. Option A. Homeothermic and amniotic. Option B. Homeothermic and anamniotic. Option C. Poechilothermic and amniotic.
Option D. Poikilothermic and an amniotic. The correct answer is Option C. Poikilothermic and amniotic. Reptiles are poikilothermic or cold blooded, i.e., their body temperature fluctuates with respect to that of the ambient temperature. They are also amniotes. As the growing embryo within their eggs are protected by a membrane called the amnion. This enables them to lay eggs on land without drying up. Question number 18. Diploblastic animals possess. Option A. Differentiated ectoderm. Option B. Differentiated endoderm. Option C. Undifferentiated mesogly. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is Option D. All of these diploblastic animals are those that develop two germ layers during early embryonic development. These layers are the outer ectoderm and the inner endoderm, along with a gelatinous substance called mesogly in between. The endoderm differentiates into true tissue. This includes tissue associated with the gut and associated glands. The ectoderm, on the other hand, gives rise to the epidermis, the nervous tissue, and if present, nephridia. The mesogly does not differentiate into any major tissue, it merely serves as an internal skeleton, supporting the body, along with performing other minor functions. Question number 19. Identify a living fossil from the following. Option A. Limulus. Option B. Peritima. Option C. Ascaris. Option D. Periplaneta. The correct answer is Option A. Limulus. A living fossil is a living organism that belongs to an otherwise extinct group. In other words, a living fossil is the only living member of its respective taxon, while the other members of the taxon are extinct. Limulus. Horseshoe crab is an example of a living fossil. Question number 20. Which one of these is not a characteristic feature of sponges? Option A. Cellular level of organization. Option B. Presence of ostea. Option C. Body supported externally by cuticle. Option D. Intracellular digestion. The correct answer is Option C. Body supported externally by cuticle. In sponges, the body is supported by spicules made of calcium or silica or proteinaceous spongin fibers, but not cuticle. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.